Okay, I'll bring you up to the wine house. It's called the vine house because there's a grape vine. That grape vine is rooted there and goes in there. And the vine's supposed to be in there. It was planted by my great grandfather. I'm very pleased with the coloring of here. This, these pinks and blues are lovely. Anyway, I'll show you what I'm talking about in here. There is a bin. It's a black bin at the door. So when I close these doors, this releases an ambient heat throughout. Now, if you look here, these are my tomatoes. Uh, there are my bins that were ex-water tanks from houses. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I have other ones around the farm for collecting water from down pipes. But um, no, all these tomatoes work. Growing tomatoes outside doesn't work here. So I have to do them inside. There's the grapevine, but it only seems to produce grapes outside. It doesn't like producing them inside. Here's another bin I have. It's not full of water yet because it's not cold enough. But I fill these bins. There's one here and there's one over there. Right there, you can see. These are cuttings, so they're in the shade so that they don't get direct light. This is loads of cuttings there, cuttings there, cuttings there, cuttings there. So these are all cuttings. But uh, yeah, these tomatoes are all grown in here, uh, in these water tanks, ex-water tanks. There are some in pots, but I find these are the most successful and I fill them up with our really well composted straw, wood chip and manure when I've housed the horses, the sheep and the alpaca in the winter. And that's how I grow my tomatoes. They don't like outdoors here. So it's, these are my cucumbers. And because we had a cold year, this, um, it was too cold. So they got chilled and they didn't really work very well, as you can see. This is my lemon tree that was outside all year, but has just um, come in recently and it's suddenly enjoying it and starting to grow again. A lot of the geraniums are in and more tender things have come in as well. So this is, uh, yeah, so this is the vine house and that's how uh, I grow my tomatoes. They don't like growing outside here. I've never had success growing them outside, but in here they do beautifully. And then this is my outdoor garden of cuttings and baby trees, etc. So hopefully that answers your question about what I'm doing to grow my tomatoes uh, in black bins. And these, the ambient heat from those is magnificent. I can't emphasize enough how important black barrels of water as passive heaters are. So hopefully that answers your questions. Um, this video is for those of you who don't realize or aren't on Twitter or whatever it's called X now. Um, this video is a response to somebody who is asking me how I'm growing my tomatoes and they don't grow very well outdoors here at all and they really work inside there. And since I've built that or renovated that, because my great grandfather built it in 1928 and my lovely YouTube channel, which you're now watching, uh, paid for the renovation of this in 2020, I think, or was it 2021? I think it was May, 2021 was when we finally got the roof on, I think. Oh, I can't remember at this stage. 2020 or 2021, this was done. And since then is when I've been growing tomatoes. Previous to that, I tried and was never successful growing them outdoors here because the Irish weather can be so temperamental. It can say, lovely sunny day. And the next day is cold and wet and miserable. And the tomatoes all say, no, I don't like that. So this has really helped me grow tomatoes, peppers, aubergines, and cucumbers. 
other things that the rest of the garden um, doesn't like to grow or won't grow in the rest of the garden. My vegetable patch is way up over there. And that's where my tomato, uh, my pumpkins and sweet corn and peas and beans and strawberries and what else is over there? Asparagus, blueberries, red currants, black currants, gooseberries, they're all up over there.